guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Maria and today I am here in my sweats. Look, oh just got my got my hoodie on, got my hair up, you know how I look most days. So yeah, we're all family here, it's fine. But today, in honor of Valentine's Day, which is on a Sunday, I am uploading a preach I did at my church a year ago. So I did it on Valentine's Day and I was just talking about love and what real love looks like and yeah that's pretty much it so yeah let me know if it encourages you make sure you subscribe down below i upload every single friday make sure you like and comment and share thank you so much love you happy valentine's day for sunday <laughs> hi i'm maria and i'm absolutely boiling right now but you know when someone is like i'll take your jacket off and then you're like no because the jacket is the essence of the outfit like, i can't take the jacket off anyway I'm Maria, for those of you who can't hear because he's said it about five times. And um, I'm just going to be following on that panel, going a bit deeper into love. And they're amazing, weren't they? Can we just give another round of applause? Like, it's so cool that we get to do that. Like, that's awesome. Yeah, so, as you already know, today is Valentine's Day. A whole day dedicated to love. And maybe with all the buzz and all the chat and all the excitement, you're probably like, well, what is love? I mean, Phil asked that question earlier. And um, yeah, I think it's is, it is a big question. But um, love seems pretty straightforward, right? You know, it's that feeling of butterflies in your stomach or it's that spark that you have with someone or, you know, it's just, it's marriage or it's sex or whatever. I think we overuse the word love. I mean, think about it. The same word we use to describe how we feel towards our family is the same word we use to describe how we feel towards our favorite celebrity or our favorite food. Even Love Island, I'm sure you've all heard of it, has the word love in, not really about love. <laughs> so, we give so much of our time and our actions and our energy into getting this thing that we don't really know too much about. So I thought maybe the question isn't so much, what is love, but why do we want it so bad? <laughs> why do I want a relationship so much? Why do I want to get married so bad? Why do I spend my, my time and my hours numbing my mind on Snapchat just so that people won't think I'm out of place? Why do I sacrifice my personality just so the popular kids at school will like me? Because we do that, don't we? We do that. And it's because we want love. So the thing is, we want to be valued because love equals value. Think about all the things that you really love. And I mean really love. They're the things that hold the most value to you. They're the things that are worth it to you. So the thing is, when we know that someone really loves us, we feel valued, we feel like we're worth it. And who here doesn't want to feel like they're worth it? Like, I want to feel like I'm worth it, yeah? <laughs> but the thing is, we try and get our worth and our value from things that don't give us real love. And that's a bit of a problem, because we want to be known and loved so bad, but no matter how hard we look, we can't seem to find anything that will love us without fail for every second of every day. But you know what? It was made to be like that. Because love from places other than God won't fulfill you. Maybe they do temporarily. Maybe they do until the next relationship comes around or until the next fad or the next fashion or the next brand. Maybe they do on the outside, but inside nothing seems to add up. But God's love is unmatched and fulfills in every single way. Let me just put it into perspective. So like the most high king, creator of the universe, calls you and says you're his son or daughter and he loves you so passionately. Put that up against some guy or girl who isn't that fussed about you but will think you're a good way to pass the time. Or maybe some guy or girl who is into you. It's a big difference. Little side note, I found this so cool. In the Bible, it says his, meaning God's love, endures forever. 
43 times. You'd think it's pretty important if they had to put it in there 43 times. God's love endures forever. That is so cool. <laughs> Romans 5 verse 8 says, But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Essentially what that means is that even though we mess up, and even though we screw up, even though we get a lot of stuff wrong, God still came to die out of love for us. He knows everything about us and still loves us. Like, that's crazy in my head because he knows all the good things, right? But he also knows all the bad things, all the things that you probably hide from people so that they'll like you. He knows those things and still loves you more than any of those people and anyone ever could. Like, that's so cool. <laughs> so, um, I'm nearly done. <laughs> but if I want you to remember anything and take anything away, is that you don't have to win God's love over. <laughs> you don't have to buy him gifts. You don't you have to use a chat up line to get him to like you. You don't have to put on a mask so that he won't see the real you. No, he'll always love you, no matter what happens. I'm just going to leave you with this scripture. 1 John 4 verse 10 says, This is love. He loved us long before we loved him. So the question is, because I'm not just going to let you sit there and take this in and then go home and nothing changes, are you going to let your value depend on imperfect people and imperfect things or God whose love is perfect and unrelenting and lasts forever.